thing that we're trying to improve. If you look at the latest estimates, say, that came out of the last IPCC report, you talk about one to three feet. But the problem is, is even just the last year, there's been a lot of new results that came out. Destabilization, a part of the Antarctic ice sheet, significant amounts of melting in Greenland, and other projections that say, hey, you know, could we have a lot higher sea level rates than that? Could we have five feet, 10 feet in the next 100 years? Sounds quite scary. And I think the other thing that people will find fr quite frightening is you're se seeming to say that these rising sea lines are already happening. There's not much we can do to stop it going up. No, what, what's fascinating is, is that occasionally people will say, well, is it really happening? Cities like Miami are already routinely experiencing flooding, right? Storm damage is increased in the United States because sea levels are higher and the storm runups higher. Kennedy Space Center, NASA's own spaceport, is they've actually even gone as far as to make a map of areas they know they're going to lose as they experience increased erosion. So the planet's not just changing, it's changed. Um, but I think what we need to do is... We collect the data to let its society make the best informed decisions it can. And for infrastructure planning, you know, for big things along coastal areas, we need to do a better job with those 100-year projections. It clearly is worrying the number of people who could be impacted by this, literally billions of people living close to, uh, relatively close to the coast. What should be done? Do these people need to move away from the coast? Would you buy a house on the coast? Do we need to look at where we're building? So it's a little bit more complicated than that, right? Like the people that we think are immediately going to be affected by sea level rise is more like 150 million. They're affected by that three feet number. Um, it's also kind of a slow thing. What happens is, you know, even if it's rapid, it still is enough that people don't have to flee from the beaches kind of thing. But there are places those people are going to have to go. And so we have to accept the fact that there will be migrations away from those zones. But what we also have to accept is things like there'll be more saltwater intrusion into freshwater aquifers. We need to accept that a lot of our infrastructure and, you know, people who live away from the coasts, this is an issue for them because most of the world's big economic drivers, those are cities that are in coastal areas because that's where the ports are. So this is an important issue across the board. And how much of it is down to human activity? Oh, look, no one questions those kinds of things. The planet is warming up, right? As the planet warms, that causes the ocean to thermally expand, and it causes us to lose more ice into the oceans. That's not really where the debate is. And, and the thing that I think we really need to focus on is this, is kind of what do we do? Because it's happening right now. A certain amount of it is locked in. But we certainly have the chance to help change things for the kind of next generation, you know, our children's children and things. We can have a big impact on their world. Dr. Thomas Wagner, thanks very much for your time.